Class A are the most common type of fire and is the one that comes to mind for most people when they hear the word fire. Characterized by fairly low ignition points and temperatures, this class of fires is produced by the combustion of common solid combustible materials such as wood, leaves, fabric, rubber, or plastic. These fires will go out once the fuel or oxygen source is depleted and can be identified after the fact by the ash that they leave behind. Class A fires can be extinguished by depleting the fire of either the oxygen or fuel source and are typically fought with water or foam agents, but at smaller sizes can also be put out by starving it of oxygen by completely covering it with a lid, fire blanket, or other similar tools. Moving on to Class B, these fires are characterized by their fuel source of flammable liquids and gases such as gasoline, propane, alcohol, kerosene, and butane to name a few. These fires are extremely dangerous due to their low flash point, meaning that these substances will ignite and burn once exposed to a source of fire regardless of ambient temperature. Another source of danger for this class of fires is the fact that water is not effective at extinguishing and actually makes them worse by scattering the fuel source and spreading the flames. Because of this, typical extinguisher substances used to fight class B fires include carbon dioxide and dry chemical agents. Note that unlike in the US, in the EU, Class B fires are actually split into two separate categories, Class B for flammable liquids and Class C for flammable gases. As flammable gases are extremely difficult to fight and different in the fact that while the flames can be put out with extinguishers, it is usually much more important to combat the leaking of the fuel source as even when extinguished, the leaking gas can not only be dangerous to inhale, but also create an extremely dangerous explosive atmosphere. Class C fires, commonly referred to as electrical fires, are fires fueled by live electrical current or electrical tools or equipment. These type of fires can occur due to faulty wiring in electronics or appliances, such as in computers or servers. What makes these electrical fires extremely dangerous is the fact that, like Class B fires, they not only cannot be fought with water, but contact with water will make the situation much worse, and can actively kill firefighters trying to fight the fire by creating a conductive path for the electricity to travel. To successfully fight this class of fires requires special non-conductive chemical agents and cutting off the source of electricity, at which point it becomes an ordinary combustible fire and can be fought accordingly. Moving on to class D metal fires, these types of fires are classified by their combustible metal fuel source, which includes lithium, magnesium, potassium, and titanium. Water is avoided once again as contact with many of these metals can cause violent chemical reactions and spread the flames. Because of this, these types of fires are typically fought with various non-reactive dry powder extinguishing agents which suppress the fire's oxygen supply. Class K or Class F fires in the EU are basically a subclass of Class B distinguished by their higher flash points and are caused by the combustion of cooking oils, grease, or fats. These are an extremely common type of fire frequently occurring in commercial and residential kitchens alike. In less severe cases like when the fire is contained to a pan or small pot, they can be extinguished by smothering it with a non-flammable solid like a metal lid and cutting off the oxygen supply. In more severe cases of cooking fires, extinguishing chemical agents are used due to the fact that like in class B fires, water will make the situation much worse. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this information was helpful. Thanks for tuning on in and we'll catch you next time. Adios, amigos.